Good morning, friends and enemies. Friends and foes. You're all friends here, right? We're all friends. Good morning. I'm on my way to America. We have a trailer that was left behind at the Gas Tracks truck stop in Pembina, North Dakota. So we're not going very far. We're going about three miles inside our borders. We go behind their line and bring it back to this side. Because you know me, no man left behind. For some reason, this trailer got left behind. So we're going to go and uh, retrieve it. Bring it home. No idea why it's still there. There must have been some kind of problem. Maybe the load didn't clear in time and the driver had to get moving so they left the trailer in the US because they couldn't cross and the driver bobtailed across to continue on to somewhere else. Uh, I don't know. But we have a trailer that got left behind and uh, I'm on a mission to retrieve it. A covert mission. You're all coming with me. Behind friendly lines. At least we don't gotta worry about anything. She's being ta being taken care of. Our good friends in America are taking good care of our of our trailer there. I'm sure. At least I hope it's still there. I wonder if it's got a pin lock on it or anything. Whenever I drop a trailer somewhere, I always put a kingpin lock on it. But nobody told me if there's kingpin lock on it or not. I guess I'll find out when I get there. If there is, I'll just call them and find out where the key is. I'm sure they probably have it locked and have the key hidden somewhere. So. Figure it out. there's some good news the scale is closed on the Canadian side here and we're not going far enough into the US to hit their scale down there this is the US border coming up right here I don't think they've opened the border to go into the US for non-essential travel yet but if Americans want to come to Canada for non-essential purposes as long as they're fully vaccinated they can come across and visit and tour around and stuff now. There's just a whole process that you have to go through. Make sure you do your research before you get to the Canadian border, before you even leave your house. Do uh, do your research, because there's a whole bunch of boxes you gotta check off, and a whole bunch of things you gotta have ready when you get to our borders as an American. Uh, for the rest of the world, all other countries, it's not open yet for non-essential travel. Um, guessing that may come in the near future who knows I'm not in charge of that stuff but just make sure if you want to come up and visit Canada from the US just be sure you do your research first go to our uh, just Google it what you need you need like a negative test within a certain amount of days uh, you need proof of vaccination you need uh, all kinds of other things ready but if you can check all the boxes Hey, you're welcome to come up and visit now, so that's pretty cool. It's been uh, over a year since that's been the case. So here's U.S. Customs up ahead here anyway, so I will see you guys on the other side. Well, we drove our, like, one mile into America. But here we are. It might just barely be America, but it's definitely America. Supposed to be a trailer here waiting. I think I see it. 
pretty sure. I see a trailer over there anyways. Oh, 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 bumpy, bumpy. I miss stopping at this truck stop here. They got great pizza. That's gotta be our trailer there. Hey! Look at the hay. Straw is cheaper. Oh! here is not ours. It must be someone else's. I think ours is... Aha! Right on the other side of this truck here. There it is. here tied down oh the pulls are loose oh boy I'm gonna have to tighten the straps wow look at this you see how much they're moving yeah because they probably weren't tightened along the way Yikes. yeah definitely gonna have to tighten them all that's why we check we're gonna check to make sure that the trailer has air in it that it does okay Looks like we're working with a load of shingles. If my eyes are serving me correctly, I do believe those are shingles. Hazards are working there. License plate light is working. And just double check the trailer bags. They are filling with air. Okay. All right, let's tighten these straps up. No man left behind. I'm gonna take her home. Take him home. Take it home. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. What do you think? speaking broken English. I get it. I get it. Stop before entering scale. Okay. There, I stopped. They're flashing the light at me already, so they want me to keep going. fun get out of here someone dragged their trailer over the lawn there brand fresh laid sod until they just laid that sod down there someone dragged their trailer over it 
For crying out loud, I hope they got pulled in and gave them a ticket for that. You gotta pay to fix it. Man, that bugs me. Like this whole place, like this whole, uh, this whole cement here just got redone, right? Obviously spent a lot of money on it. And then someone just goes and drags their trailer unnecessarily right over. Like, come on. Come on. Man, that gets me upset. Stop wrecking things. It's hard to have any nice things because people just wreck it. Okay, off we go. We've officially been welcomed back to Manitoba. They know how fat I am. They were okay with it. They're like, Trucker Josh, get out of here. You're way too fat for us. Get out of here. I want to build something in here so I can bring diesel with me on a few like few trips like this. Today I could have brought diesel with me. Uh, so I want to build a platform down on the floor over there on the passenger side and between the seats here. So that it's sort of like one big bed for them, right? One big platform. We're going to work on that, but it's very restricting just being in a day cab because if they need to send me to, uh, let's say, Regina or Yorkton or Thunder Bay or, you know, Minneapolis, uh, Bismarck, or even like down down to the Fargo, North, anything, like I can't do any overnights because I, I don't got a sleeper here. Which is fine. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm very happy with what I'm doing right now. I'm happy with that, but I do get the itch go a little further every now and then. Every now and then. And they told me if I wanted to, I could take a trip. Like if uh, they didn't need me in this truck for a little while, I could take a trip. And I'm probably going to do that. I'll probably have to jump in another truck if they have another one available. And maybe we can head on down to like Nevada or somewhere down there that I haven't been before. But and it would be nice, yeah, if I just had a sleeper on the back and then I wouldn't have to switch trucks to do that. But, it is what it is. I'm not complaining. I love this old truck. These old trucks, at least you don't gotta worry too much about, you know, rock chips on the highway, right? Or, it only got one horn left, but hey, it still works. I like it, I like it, I don't know. I'm not a guy that has to have a shiny new truck. If I ever get into my own truck again, which I'm, I'm thinking, I still have it in the back of my head. I'd still love to have my own whole unit, truck and trailer. I'd love to have my own running authority and do everything, my own, my own name on the door. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If that day ever comes, I'll be going to talk to Andy, the Kenworth guy. I'm gonna get my own shiny, shiny W9. All the bells and whistles all the chrome, all the chicken lights, long of a wheelbase as I'm legally allowed in Canada. I'm going to have a mount in the back behind the studio sleeper if I can fit it for my motorcycle so I can take my motorcycle with me. I'm going to have my own trailer, all chrome and lights. That's still my dream one day. Maybe. It's a big maybe. Big maybe. Maybe. Whoops. I guess I should turn those off in town, right? At least I should say I do. Absolutely no Jake brakes in town. There's a sign that says no engine braking. It doesn't matter if the sign is wrong. Is that a little scooter at the pumps? See that over there? One of those enclosed scooters. There's a couple of people in Steinbeck that drive those around. Some elderly people, that's the only way they can get around, right? And they just rip down the sidewalks with them, drive right into the mall with them. It's awesome. Got little windshield wipers on it. It's a cab. They got a heater in there in wintertime. <laughs> Next time I see one of them, I'll, I'll try to catch up with them, see if uh, they don't mind if I film their uh, their little buggy. It's sort of like, a, like, a, like an elderly person's scooter, right? But it has a cab on it. <laughs> with lights and signals. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have one of those, except mine's going to look like a Kenworth. Absolutely. Speaking of Kenworth, my old Kenworth is coming up beside us right now. My very... I just about bought this truck. It's coming up here. I know the guy. There it goes. Remember that truck, guys? How, long, how, many, how many of you have been watching me long enough that you remember that truck? That was one of the first trucks
trucks I drove when I, uh, in 2011. He's rebuilt it already just recently. So the engine's just good to go. Kind of jealous. Kind of jealous. I should have, maybe I should have bought it. Maybe I should have held on to it. to and been given the task of delivering these beautiful shingles to their rightful owner here in Winnipeg in construction peg yikes all right I think we can fit I think we can fit let's find a gear find a gear there you go this is a heavy load Sitting probably at a gross weight of about 80,000 pounds right now. It's probably max weight for the US. I'm still able to haul more weight here in Canada. Uh, in Western Canada here, we're allowed to haul 87,500 pounds gross on a tandem trailer with two axles. The more axles you add, the more weight we can pull. On Nairn Avenue now, just going over this Nairn overpass. There's downtown over there. And we got to turn right on Watt Street, just over the bridge here. And it looks like the intersection is closed. Oh shoot. Okay, well I know another way of getting around. I think, oh wait, no, 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 we can still turn right. How is this gonna work here? Oh my. Are we allowed to make a right-hand turn? Oh, I think so. Yeah, they're all going right. There's no signs that say I can't. I just gotta drag my big butt around this curb here and then go down there. Ah, without hitting the curb. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. Yep, we got it. Watt Street. What? 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 W A T T, like uh, that bulb is 60 watts. This road is one watt. And according to that sign on that post, I can only go that way. I only have one choice. What if I don't want to go that way? Too bad, the sign says that's my only choice sign over there it says no trucks that way I don't know they're prejudiced against trucks that way they don't like trucks they don't like truckers they don't stay off that street no trucks going that way either they don't like truckers down there either so you don't want to live on this street they don't like truckers you want to live on this street better yet just don't live in the city <laughs> I am it takes so much energy for this truck to start moving and a lot of power watch it right on the side of the road there these older city streets the the sidewalks are literally right on the edge of the road right so it, it makes me nervous sometimes how close people come with their kids turn right what does it say northbound watt street closed no access well good thing i don't want to go northbound on watt street i want to go that way on chalmers avenue it's a charming avenue charming chalmers yeah 
I'm gonna go that way. See if I can drag myself around here. Green means go. Easy. Turn it hard. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. Fantastic. Just around the corner, we're gonna drop these off. These came all the way from a town called, I think it's called Shakopee, Minnesota. All the way up here to Winnipeg, Manitoba. So once we unloaded those shingles, I ran over to uh, the west side of Winnipeg over in Oak Bluff and I grabbed some OSB board a uh, full load that's going to Fremont, Nebraska. Another one of our drivers will be taking that down there. Lucky guy. Be nice to go visit there again. But for today, the work is done. The work is done, I'm headed home. Britt will be at work still for a couple of hours, so I'm gonna get a few things done myself. Uh, get the dogs fed probably vacuum the house if uh, she hasn't already and uh, try to get to bed a little earlier I gotta be at work a little bit earlier tomorrow gotta be up in Arburg at 9 a.m. so that means I gotta leave our yard at around 7 no later than then be a little bit earlier and that load that I'm picking up is going to Grand Forks and I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that I can deliver it on Thursday. So tomorrow's Wednesday. I go pick it up in the morning. I already asked if I could be the one to take it down. And uh, I didn't get a straight answer just because they don't know if they need me around the city. But if there's nothing for me to do around the city, then they said they'll allow me to carry on with it. And I can deliver it myself on Thursday in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Go on a little bit of a cruise. That'll be fun. I hope that I can. If not, maybe next time. I go wherever I'm needed. Chevy, Chevy, are you excited? Diesel, did you just bite his face? I did. Bite him back, Diesel? Did he bite your face? It wasn't very nice. It wasn't very nice. I'm a nice guy, I'll bite you back later. Don't worry, you just bit his leg. Chevy! Diesel, did you deserve it? I have been picking on him all day, man. It's okay. All right, tough guys. Guess what? Guess what? I went to America today. Without me? I know. I know. Everyone there said they really miss you, though. And Chevy, they want to see you again, too. You want to go to America? America? You want to go in the truck? Oh, that means yes. One day soon, I hope. One day soon. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Commander? What's the word from the galaxy? Nothing. They've been rather quiet. Really? The commander of the Galactic Federation right here. In his physical form. You should show them your true form one of these times, man. Blow their minds. They're not ready for it, man. Uh, I know. Soon. Soon. Wiener? What you been up to today? Being a wiener? How's wiener life? Hey. How's, how's the life of the wiener? Very wienery. That's what I thought. You can tell Britt's not home because he looks sad. Have you been crying? Come on, you little baby. <laughs> yeah, anyways, it's uh, it was a good day. We got quite a bit done today. And like I said, uh, tomorrow we head up to Arburg, pick something up there, and I'm hoping I can deliver it the next day myself into Grand Forks, North Dakota. It's been the furthest into the U.S. I've gone in uh, <laughs> since like November of last year. Uh, so it would be it would be great. Hopefully we can make that happen, but thanks for watching today anybody anyway uh, just uh, hanging out here in southern Manitoba 
If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you did like it. You can lie to me if you want to and hit the like button even if you didn't like it. I won't say anything. We'll see you tomorrow.